Hi everyone, so in this video we'll take a look at constraint types. So let's add dynamics and then straight away we'll scroll down and we will right click on constraints and go create. So by default, if we just double click on the constraint, by default we have a glue constraint that in the connection mode is connected to nearest. So we've got connect to touching, uh, which means that literally that the mash points have to be touching each other, the collision shapes I should say have to be touching each other in order for them to get connected. Uh, we can connect to points, offset points, and input points. So um, connect to a point is a single point. Connect to an offset point is the position of this mash point plus an offset. And then input points would be if you want to connect another mash network to this one. So I'll show you. All, um, I'll show you these. I'll show you these four here. So um, I'm going to change the collision type. Uh, sorry, the constraint type from glue to spring because glue just sticks them all together, um, and it's easy to see what's going on with the spring. So I'll change it from connect nearest, which you've seen in the other constraint video, to uh, connect to offset points. Then if I change the offset uh, to uh, plus seven, give myself some more frames here, and then if I go and turn on interactive playback under the FX shelf. And uh, what I can do is I can move the um, offset here and you can kind of see what's going on. So if I move this, you can see that we can have this, you know, interesting kind of motion. So that's what connects to offset point does. So that's the offset position there. Okay, so what about connect to point? So connect to point will connect to whatever is in the control and all here. So we need to create something. So if we create a locator like that, uh, we're connecting to this point here. I'll fire rewind and hit play. This is the result. So if, actually, if I go into interactive playback mode, I can move this around. Let me slam into the floor. So each constraint has a rest length. The rest length is the length of the constraint when it's created. So that would be this length or this length or whatever. So um, yeah, oh, something else you can do um, if we turn on, say, well, if I just hit play, try to play that mode. Um, and then on the constraints, if I turn on breakable, when I move this around, well, I've turned off. If I uh, move this around like so, and then if I give it kind of like a violent movement, We'll lose some, and then if I a bit more, then we lose some more. So uh, just playing around. Um, so that's con connected to point. Right, so uh, we've done nearest as well. So what about offset points? Well, if I just start a new scene, um, and if I create a mesh network, and we just make this a radial, and say give this was 20 points, so there you go. There's a radial network. And then if I uh, create a new platonic, and um, spread this out, sorry, in the Z. Go cells 20 again. So let's add dynamics to this second network. So just add dynamics. So if I press play, that's what you get. Nothing exciting. Let's add a constraint. We go add constraint, and then what we can do, double click on the constraint to take us through to it, and then drag on the first mesh network onto constraint positions. This will automatically um, change the mode, the connection mode to connect to input points. Then you can see what's going on here. We have connected to each of the mesh points. Corresponding mesh points have been connected to, basically. It's quite cool. Um, something else, uh, here's a tip at this point. Uh, if you go to the waiter and um, go to trails and the dynamic node here, so this is, an, this is the network with dynamics, we can add trails and uh, if we change the trails mode to constraint pairs, we can um, have, uh, um, we can have uh, the trails are where the constraints are. So if you want to render the constraints basically. So I'm just gonna, um, drag a circle onto the trails profile like so and you can see that um, if I go onto the solver and I turn off uh, constraints you can see that we've got this mesh here which is the constraints so uh, you can draw the constraints that way. So um, now if I push play ah, there's a little bit of intersection going on here so they're fighting a little bit so I'm just going to Go back and spread them out slightly more. 
Okay, now if I press play, it should be fine. No uh, in section. I'll actually um, hide the trails mesh and turn on um, the constraints again, just because it's easy to see when they're yellow um, for demo purposes. Um, so um, yes, let's have a look at the different modes. So if I change the constraint from glue to say a spring, then you get something like that, which is fair enough. Okay, so um, there are the different um, uh, connection modes for constraints. So uh, hopefully that gives you an inkling as to what's going on. And I'll see you in the next video.